So now let's, uh, I mean, we have the sprint mechanic, but maybe uh, we're not feeling like we're sprinting. We are feeling that we're just going fast, right? So let's polish it a little bit. Let's add a little camera shake. So first we need to create a camera shake asset. Let's hit here content drawer and i do believe we created a folder for our project um here i'm gonna create a folder called camera shakes i don't know if we will use more than one but just in case camera shakes right click Blueprint class, and in all classes, we can find the camera shake base class. Camera shake source, no, we do not need that. Camera shake base. Select, and let's call it something like CS for camera shake, and a sprint. Let's double click it. And we will have a lot of types of camera shake. First, it's asking me if I only want a single instance of it. So maybe this would probably be good if, for example, every time something explodes, you want to shake the camera, but maybe you only want one, uh, one of these camera shakes so they don't mix. So you can check here the single instance. For now, let's leave it like this. We do not have to worry too much about it. And here in the root shake pattern, we have a lot of patterns. If we want to mix camera shakes, we can use the composite. If we want to make the camera shake through a matinee, uh, you can also do it. Burning noise, sequence camera shake, but the wave oscillator is the classic one. So we have a location. If you want to shake the camera in a location. If you want to rotate it, you can also do it from here. You can change the FOB and the timing. In our case, let's just change the location. I'm gonna put it like uh, maybe three on location amplitude and a frequency multiplier. For now, let's uh, let's keep it in one. The duration, I'm gonna, for now, let's put it five. Save it, compile. And now we want to use this. And then we can explain the amplitude and frequency. Let's first know that it's working. Let me close this blend space and the animation blueprint. I don't need it also. So first person character we have here, we want to start shaking the camera whenever we start sprinting and we need to, st to stop shaking it whenever we stop. So this would be a good time to start shaking the camera. To add camera shake, you just need to right click and get the camera manager, get player camera manager. You can get it like this get player index or if you you'd like you can also get it like this get controller and then get no cast it to player controller and here you should have the player camera manager get player camera manager these are two ways of handling this. This will be useful if you are doing a multiplayer game, but that is a split screen. And this will be useful if you are doing any other type of game. Single player will work OK. And multiplayer games, online multiplayer games will also work OK because the player index will be always zero unless you're using a split screen. So let's use the, the, the not uh, complicated one. And here I can do a start camera shake. A side note, 
I think split script double camera shake will be chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> it, it 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 can be. Start camera shake and here in the get I'm gonna press stop camera shake. Now I'm gonna put these values like this. I'm gonna clean them clean the nodes later, so don't be scared. reverse and here we need a shake class we just created the shake class camera shake sprint we can change the scale if we need it to and here in a stop camera shake we need to select which which asset we want to stop uh, this is a object reference so we need to pass it this camera shake here is returning the object created, so let's promote it to a variable and call it sprint camera shake ref. And we have it like this. And here in the stop camera shake, we can pass it the reference. So it's working properly. Now let's see if it's working really properly. Let's save it, compile, play, and whenever we sprint, well, the camera is moving. So it's working. Uh, the thing about it is it's a stopping immediately and it will be really apparent if I crank up the values. So if I stop sprinting, it's doing that snap, and that snap is not, not good. So let's uncheck immediately. Play, and it's a lot smoother. With Well, I, I do, do not want the value to move in X. So here in X, I'm going to set the amplitude to zero, and let's explain some of it. Because we're using a wave oscillator, it means that we are using a little thing called a sine wave that it should look something like this. So our waves start and then go up and down and, and like that forever. This would be a value of 1, this should be a value of minus 1. The amplitude will be how high, uh, how, how high is going, right? This is a multiplier, so it's always going to be 1. But if we the multiplier is 10, then this curve is getting big, bigger, a lot bigger. And the frequency will be how frequent the, the wave will change. So instead of being, for example, this could be one. If we have a, a higher value, then our frequency will be higher. So it's going to be something like this. And, and with one color is really not understandable. It was, would be something like this. So that's what I'm, I'm modifying here, the amplitude and the multiplier. So let's change the multiplier to five play and the camera shake should be a lot more harsh let's put three maybe five is too much let's go three and three yeah that's that seems better so if i if i'm walking I'm, and i'm pressing uh, the camera shake then it's it's moving a, a lot more. It's moving around a lot more. And let's tweak some value values. Maybe why I do not want the full the full uh, three. I just want the half of it. So now it's jumping a lot more in the C value that it 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 can be up and down. 
and you can see that if I still I'm still sprinting, the camera shake ends. So here in the, the duration it says zero or less means infinite. So let's put it zero of le or less. Let's put it minus one. But when whenever we play the the camera shake stops immediately. So it's not working in Unreal Engine 5. So let's, instead of uh, the duration being too low, let's maybe put it like 6 minutes or 10 minutes. You won't probably sprint 10 minutes. So the camera shake will still work. So now we have this cool, cool looking sprinting. And yes, the, the arm is, is passing through. So yeah, what, 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 what can we do? Oh, and we can also tweak the blend in and blend out. The, the blend out, I want it to be a little more faster. So it, it ends faster. So that's great. Perfect. Nice. It really feels like it's printing now after the camera shake. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it adds a lot, a lot of it. I mean, we added the logic long time ago. Technically, we're running faster, but it's very important to make all these little details like the animation and then the camera shake to actually feel that you're running. It's just not a, not a matter of adding the code and you run faster and that's it. Otherwise, it will feel so strange. Yeah, and, and it it remembers uh, well, it reminds me of a of a saying that I'm not sure if I can translate it pro uh, correctly. That if you're a good guy, you don't you don't just have to be a good guy. You need to look like a good guy. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, even though everything is working properly, if you don't add that that little uh, spiciness of the camera shake or some other, we could press. Uh, if we added some some part particle effects, like we're going faster, like those lines that you you find in a lot of action movies, movies or action uh, animes nice. or cartoons, yeah, that that helps a lot also.